Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Joe Tyler Reefing and my water box 30.2 marine all-in-one build and I'm standing out on my balcony it's a beautiful day as you can see this is the city of Dallas behind me but today I'm going to be taking some par measurements on the 30.2 hopefully we can come up with some good data that you can use I just want to dial in my light and uh, we'll go from there, so stay tuned. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, so this is the PAR meter that I have rented from Bulk Reef Supply, and uh, this was $69.99, but you do have to put a $450 deposit down on it just in case you break it or you do not return it. But the kit includes the Apogee MQ510 PAR meter, sensor wand, and the usage instructions. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. All right, so here is your return instructions. As you can see, it was $69.99 per week. And then when you're ready to return this thing, you have to contact customer care and they will ship you or they'll send you a return label so you can ship it off. But uh, here is the MQ510 PAR meter right here. It's actually a lot thinner than I expected. It also comes with the sensor wand that comes in three pieces. So what you do is you can screw it together depending on how deep your tank is. And I've already taken off this um, blue cap from the sensor, but uh, this is what the sensor looks like. And uh, we're gonna take some PAR readings for this tank. So what I did is I printed out a picture of my tank and I'm going to hand write the PAR readings that I get um, in various spots. Um, and then I'll probably make a digital copy but if you have the 30.2 with the AI Prime 16 HD, which is the newer light, hopefully the data that we come up with you can use so that we can have a successful reef tank. So that's what we're going to be doing. Please stay tuned. All right, everybody. So I think I have dialed this in. I've been using the PAR meter here. Um, and so I took readings at various spots to dial my light in and I wanted between 50 to 150 par um, on these very top peaks here. I'm reading about 203, it jumps around a lot so you kinda gotta give it your best guess but it's about 203 to 214. Um, so I went in various spots with this PAR meter to dial my light in. So I will share my light schedule as well. Now I do want to mention my light is eight inches from the water to the very bottom of the light. And um, it's centered perfectly. So let me show you what readings I received here. So I'm gonna pick this up. And uh, this is the sheet that I printed out. So as you can see, my very top peaks are at 213 and 203. And then my outer edges are roughly, you know, 80. And then as you can see, the middle portions are in the uh, one four, high 140s to um, mid 150s and then the outer back edges are 63 on the left and 59 so here are my readings now I know everybody's aquascape is going to be a little different so I do recommend you rent a par meter but uh, this is where I'm keeping it at and I will share my light schedule so uh, one of the things is my light on uh, this picture, I wanna say, was about nine inches, so I did adjust my light down to eight inches off the water surface, and um, 
yeah, that's how I, I uh, did my par meetings or readings. Now I did take off the diffusers, so I do not think I will be putting this back on. But um, as you can see, the par meter worked great. And uh, I just took my various readings at different points and levels in my tank. So um, I think I have it dialed in really good. As you can see, I got water everywhere. So I got to do a little bit of a cleanup here. As you can see on my skimmer, I have some tubing going because... In my cabinet here, let me take this off the tripod real quick. So in my cabinet here, I ended up hooking up a CO2 scrubber and um, my pH went from about 7.8 up to 8.06 and it's been steady at that ever since. Now I hooked up a recirculating CO2 scrubber. So that's why you see those two hoses here. So I have one coming off my silencer. And then what I did is I drilled a hole right here to fit this barb fitting. So it just constantly recirculates. But uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel. I hope this uh, par meter and these readings have helped you out. Here's one last look and uh, sorry, my paper is a little wet and I did lighten up the picture just so that you can see my par readings. But uh, if I wanted to, I can put some uh, SPS up here, but the majority of it are going to be LPS and then some softies. So here are the readings and uh, thanks again for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.